So today we'll be taking a look at Coffee Lake CPUs. Due to some technical issues, I didn't appear on camera. Well, I shaved my head and it doesn't look good. So as you know, they are available for pre-order now. And we will have some little talk and you will decide if it's worth it or not to get these CPUs. By the way, we'll take it from the lower end CPUs to the highest end CPU, which is the 8700K. So first we will look at the Pentium CPUs. All the upcoming Pentiums, unfortunately, will be a dual cores hyper threaded CPUs with clocks up to 3.9 gears. They will be under $100 and they will pack 4 megabytes of L3 cache. All the CPUs will launch uh, next month or October, so you might want to wait for now and don't get the Pentium G4560 because they might be overclockable. It will be a brand new socket, so that's a plus for you. I really can't tell if these CPUs will compete or not because I don't know if they're overclockable and also it will be a tough decision to make because an AMD's counterpart there are quad core CPUs for the same price but if they are overclockable then essentially they are an i3-7350K about $400 so that might be actually a pretty good CPU for the price but I also hoped for a non-OC quad core CPU on the higher end tier of the Pentium CPUs uh, just like some of the upcoming i3s just like we saw the Pentium G4560 and the Pentium G4600 have an hyper threaded capability just like the i3 so it would be a good thing if we saw something like that I guess you get what I mean now get into the i3s the i3 CPU will be a quad core CPU as I said with the TDP around 65 watt and the 8350k will be overclockable with the TDP of 95 watt and it will have 8 megabytes of L3 cache it will be priced around $200 so essentially it's a price on i5 but we called it an i3 so okay so no no they won't compete. AMD could easily drop the price of the R5 series CPUs and they will basically have better price per performance in both gaming and editing. The price point doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me and we're getting to the thing that's really pissing me off right now. We're looking at the i5s. All of the core i5 CPUs will have 6 cores and the higher end one will be overclockable and you might be asking yourself a question. What about the Gaming King CPU, the hyper threaded quad core CPU that can be overclocked? Is the best CPU for gaming right now? And you know it. Why don't Coffee Lake provide it for a price of a lower end i5 CPU or for sub to $150? So they refuse to kind of uh, shoot themselves at the leg, and that's not appreciated unless the 6 core uh, CPU will have the same gaming performance of a quad core hyper threaded i7. So, what do you guys think? I, anyway, a hex core i5 would be a huge uh, step up over a quad core i5. But still, why didn't they, you know, drop a quad core hyper threaded CPU being overclockable, of course. Now get into the i7. Now the i7 is for me kind of taking the scenario that I wish the Ryzen CPU could make, which is an overclockable 6 core 12 threaded CPU. Compared to an R7 1700, it's not that far behind. We don't have confirmed benchmarks yet, but we will see. And the better IPCU would make it faster in some tasks. But it will be for $350, which is a lot compared to an R7 CPU again, as it can already be found for sub $300. You don't need to buy a brand new cooler because the R7 1700 comes with a stock cooler. So the only thing that can justify buying the i7 CPU is that you're an Intel fan or you need a good single core performance in your CPU with a reasonable number of cores. Or it may have better gaming results. I actually think the upcoming Coffee Lake CPUs will provide the same gaming scores comparable to the Kaby Lake counterpart. They would make a huge hit in the market and Intel will be back to the game. So let me know what you think down in the comments below will Coffee Lake compete or not and subscribe if you found this video a bit informative and like that video, dislike that video if you have a different opinion and make sure to write it down in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.